<clears throat> anyway, with that, we're going to go into our kicker for the evening, uh, which is a spherical drive system electric motorcycle, um, sure which doesn't sound that cool, but it's like the, the closest one they can say it's it's the bike from Batman. Um, and basically... Uh, Except you it, sit like a normal person. Yes. Um, also, it doesn't have, in Batman, which irritated l- me quite badly, where actually the whole thing rotates, including the metal bits. Um, and I'm thinking, why doesn't that spark every time it rotates around? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it would look really cool if it sparked every time. Yes. But, but why? <laughs> why not just have it like this, where it's actually just a ball? So when you want to go sideways, make it rotate sideways. <laughs> it just... Uh, it didn't make sense to me. Then they wouldn't um, have been able to do that scene in the second movie where he climbs the wall and flips around completely. You could still do it. You could do all the things with these. Uh, how do no. you attach spherical balls to a wall? No, he didn't attach. Remember, he sort of oh, he rushed out the, the wall, thing. stopped, and then he turned around completely and went back the other oh, way. Oh, yes, yes. He flipped around. So he needed the whole body to turn oh, around Oh, yes, for so that the, scene. The, the center body yeah. could rotate. Um, Couldn't do cool stuff like that. You but could the, theor- <laughs> don't go there there might be a way <laughs> there might be a way um, also what's very cool about these things is uh, it's, it's, and it's all the things that once you start getting electric motors that you can start actually start doing instead of having to have uh, you know drive train and gears and all the rest mm-hmm. of it um, it's that when you're turning they're going to do talk about that you're going to need computer control systems to guides and it's actually going to make it a lot safer so when you do go sideways too fast or something instead of the bike falling over you just then make it slide sideways or something like that to compensate and keep the driver still upright so the safety of this is going to be incredibly far 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 more um i don't know it's it's, it's very cool i think it's no, amazing it's very look pretty it is a I'd love to get concept like that a ride. um and i want to see what actually once they start building it, it looks it. bulky so it doesn't look like you'll be able to weave really in the sky which is one of the big benefits of having a motorcycle in South Africa. Weave traffic, I mean. Big benefit well, slightly of having wider, a motorcycle anyway. But you can still, now, now, never mind, you can go perfectly sideways, perfectly <laughs> this way. And, you know, you, you could do a lot of things. But also, as time goes by, you could theoretically make those balls smaller. Yeah. So once you get better and your designs, you know, how it works and all the rest of it, and you get the right materials in, in there. Because, like, at the moment now, it's also the material. So you can actually see they've got things that are rotating to turn the balls. But eventually, I would imagine you'll be able to actually, if you could put a – that the motor effectively drives the balls directly with um, magnetism. Uh, you could start making these smaller and work, work a bit better. Mm. I hope so. I hope so. I, who so knows? It's going to be cool. I then be riding around in a rail gun. <laughs> uh, uh, well, somebody says also, you know, if it is electromagnetism holding the balls in place, you've also got like automatic shock in there. Yes, but I mean, that distance can close. Yeah. Yes. And if it closes completely, it could be hit. catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, and with that, I think that's our show. Um, John from Ireland, where can we find you? I write for my broadband, .co.za. I'm also on Twitter. I've been a little more active recently, at Jan VZA. I'm also on Google+, Plus. Jan from Ireland, so call me there. And I think that about sums it up. Cool. Hello from Ireland. Hi. Uh, about dot me. About dot me, slash hockey ZA. Go there, you'll find all the things. Cool. And myself to Mark, if you want to find me, you can find me on Saturday at Vitz Engineering Building for Software Freedom Day. Uh, <laughs> Come and join us. It's going to be really awesome. And I just want to say thank you to the mixer once again for mixing. And you can't find them. <laughs> no, the mixer is unfindable. Yes. Some say that someone once found the uh, mixer, but they were lying. No. Well, th- they did, and then they ceased to exist. <laughs> because, you know, trust me, we, we, you don't want to find the mixer for it's your like safety. A, it's like a particle meeting its antiparticle. Yes. Yeah. The mixer is everyone's antiparticle, the, 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 except the, ours. The, we have an, the mixer we have continues a mixer to exist. Indeed. This just got very meta. (laughs) And with that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.